Good morning, y'all. I don't even know I'm crying because today is supposed to be the day that I have a baby. I'm headed to the hospital right now to see my doctor so that she can possibly induce me. I'm feeling a little bit of guilt right now because I feel like I'm rushing him. And I know that it's like, babe, you're way over your 40 weeks. But like Alora took forever to come out and I just like let her come out when she's ready. And like with him, I just can't do it. Like I feel so weak. Like I know he's a big baby. He's wearing me out. I know I'll feel better when she's like out. But I just, <sighs> I feel like such a bad mom. <sighs> I'm just gonna pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray that you come in um, and have your way with this process and with this birth. Um, I pray for a healthy journey, no health issues, no chaos during my labor, just peace. And I just pray that, you know, baby will come out and not be mad at me. Oh, okay. Hey, Amen. All right, now we can leave. Oh, my baby crying in the window. Bye, Laura. Bye-bye, love you, love you. So when it came to my daughter, I was so late giving birth and my son looked like he wanted to do the exact same thing. After I hit my 40 weeks, I waited a little bit, but I kind of just was like, you know what, no, like I'm ready for him to come out. So I got my membrane sweep twice and it didn't work. So when I got to the hospital, I was just more anxious than anything. So I wanted them to induce me and they gave me cream and it started my contractions almost right away, like 30 minutes into it, I started to feel contractions coming down pretty heavily. Hey y'all, so we're in the hospital. Dang. Per, and I am experiencing contractions every like, whenever the heck they wanna come. And it's time to do my makeup. No big deal. I always used to make fun of moms. Hold on, let me breathe. <laughs> Ouch. Squeeze, can you squeeze me? Ready, set. As I was saying, I always used to make fun of moms that would like beat their face for labor. Cause I'm like, girl, where are you going? And also this is a newborn, but here I am. Cause I just want to feel cute. Oh, this is trying to kick in my ass. Baby, help. I got you on board Ready to come already. That's it, that's why you're giving, okay? All right, y'all, labor and delivery update. The girl was struggling um, at the beginning of this. I was doing natural. I came in three centimeters dilated, and then the contractions got really crazy after they induced me really fast really hard and I was doing my best to like cope and uh, I just couldn't handle it like I was well I guess I could have if I tried but I was like on the floor and they told me that my mom could come and like the minute my mom walks in she like sees me and she's like oh no <laughs> she's like no 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 she needs an epidural and I'm like you know what why not I'm tired and she was like you've already done this you have nothing to prove to anyone and I'm like you know what you're right so um, we opted for an epidural and I feel better. I feel pressure, but not pain. And that's beautiful. My water broke. Last time I checked, that was seven centimeters dilated. They said his head is right there. So it should be coming quickly now. So baby should be here soon. And as soon as the epidural hit, I was like, oh, this is why people say they can give birth to a trillion babies. I didn't feel any pain. I felt pressure but I, I could still feel what was happening in my body. Like I was very in tune. I could feel him coming down, but it was just like smooth. I don't know, like I just was in heaven. I'm not gonna lie, like compared to natural birth, I'm so happy that I got to experience the epidural because it was like, 
euphoric. As it was time to give birth, they kept being like, oh, we see his head, we see his head. And the doctor told me, she's like, put your hand down there, you can feel it. And I was like, oh, wow, like he's really here. As his head was coming out and then his face was coming out, I'm not even gonna lie, he definitely looked a, a, a little bit like me more than Allura did coming out. Like I definitely saw myself in him. Having an actual son, especially being named after me, was definitely uh, surreal. Oh, he's coming. You got it, babies. It's coming. No terror, no terror, no terror. Wow, it's coming. Oh, oh he looks just like a Laura. Oh, oh. 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 I was so much more uh, alert and just aware during Baby Swag's birth. Like I saw him come out when he came out. Like I grabbed him, I, I put him. Like it was just so much better, if that makes sense. Hello. 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 Their mommy, baby. Wow. He's big, man. Bringing Allura in to meet uh, Baby Swag for the first time was actually kind of funny because I didn't know how she would react. I wanted to be making sure that when she came in, I wasn't holding the baby because I didn't want her to feel like she's been replaced. So when she came in with her dad, I had Swag put her on my lap and we had our moment. And then Swag brought Baby Swag over and she completely lit up. It was like shock a little bit, like just staring. And she didn't know and she looked around and then she looked at the baby and then tried to touch the baby like as if she was like completely in love. And she has been. Every single time she sees Baby Swag, she gives him like a bunch of kisses 24-7. She says, baby, baby, baby. So she knows that there's a baby. I have a feeling that like, Alora knew he was coming. Like she was very intuitive when it came to that. So I felt like she was like, oh, he's here. I already know everything about them. He's part of the family. And she was really, really accepting. So my heart was full because that's really all I could ask for. I just wanted my baby to know that she's still my baby forever. But now we have another baby that we can share. Christopher Jordan Williams II, mommy loves you. Um, you are just the perfect addition to our family. You were somebody that I prayed for. The fact that you're my first son, I just genuinely thank God for your light. I already can feel how strong your spirit is. I can feel um, your calm temperament growing inside me for the past nine months. And I just know that you are going to change my life in such a beautiful way. Touch a joyous addition to our family, your sister, your dad, and I love you so much. And I cannot wait to see how you impact this world. You mean the world to me, um, and I love you. Because if you see this a decade from now, or even two decades from now, um, your dad loves you, I'm always gonna be there for you. Um, and I can't wait to see um, the light you bring in, not only to our lives, but to this world, because you are a very, very special uh, individual. Um, and I'm gonna be along every step of the process. I love you. Oh, I love you, and I'm gonna do what, this is time. There you go. Yeah, I love you all. <laughs>